Hello everyone, welcome to topic of the day. In today's video, we shall be discussing about carbon dating. Recently, the technique of carbon dating has re-emerged at the center stage in an ongoing controversy pertaining to the discovery of an alleged shivling within the premises of the Gyanwapi Mosque in Varanasi. If we talk about the recent developments, after a court-ordered videography survey confirmed the object's presence in the mosque, Four of the five petitioners from the Hindu side filed a suit demanding its carbon dating to determine its age. This plea has, however, been dismissed by the Varanasi District Court. The court ruled that the plea for scientific investigation cannot be allowed since the Supreme Court has ordered the sealing of the place where the object was found. So, let us discuss what is carbon dating. Carbon dating is a widely used method to establish the age of organic materials, things, that were once living. Living things have carbon in them in various forms. Now, the carbon dating method is based on the fact that carbon-14 or C-14 is an isotope of carbon with an atomic mass of 14, which is radioactive and decays at a well-known rate. Let us talk about the procedure of carbon dating. The most abundant isotope of carbon in the atmosphere is C12. A very small amount of C14 is also present. The ratio of C12 to C14 in the atmosphere is almost static and is known. Now, plants get their carbon through photosynthesis. Animals get it mainly through food. Because plants and animals get their carbon through the atmosphere, they too acquire C12 and C14 in roughly the same proportion as is available in the atmosphere. When they die, their interactions with the atmosphere stops. Now, while C12 is stable, the radioactive C14 reduces to one half of itself in about 5730 years, known as its half-life. The changing ratio of C12 to C14 in the remains of a plant or animal after it dies can be measured and can be used to deduce the approximate time when the organism died. So, is it effective in all the cases? Carbon dating cannot be applied in all circumstances. It cannot be used to determine the age of non-living things like rocks, for example. Also, the age of things that are more than 40,000 to 50,000 years cannot be arrived at through carbon dating. This is because after 8 to 10 cycles of half-lives have been crossed, the amount of carbon-14 becomes almost negligible and undetectable. Then the question is, how to determine the age of non-living things. There are other methods to calculate the age of inanimate things, many of which are based on the same principle as carbon dating. So, instead of carbon, decays of other radioactive metals that might be present in the material become the basis for the dating method. These are known as radiometric dating methods and many of these involve elements with half-lives of billions of years which enable scientists to reliably estimate the age of very old objects. Two commonly employed methods for dating rocks are potassium argon dating and uranium thorium lead dating. Now, let us talk about cosmogenic nuclide dating. There are also methods to determine how long an object has remained exposed to sunlight. The most common of these is called cosmogenic nuclide dating and is regularly applied to study the age of ice cores in polar regions. So, this was a little bit about carbon dating. Now, let us take up one practice question on the same. Consider the following statements relating to carbon dating. First, the age of things that are more than 40,000, 50,000 years cannot be arrived at through carbon dating. Second, this is because after 8 to 10 cycles of half-lives have been crossed, the amount of carbon-14 becomes almost negligible and undetectable. Now, which of the statements given above are correct? You can take a moment and write your answers in the comment section below. So, as we know, both of the statements are correct with respect to carbon dating. Therefore, the correct answer is option C, that is both 1 and 2. And with this, we call it a wrap of today's edition of Topic of the Day. I hope you like the video. I will see you with some other topic tomorrow. I hope you like the video. I will see you with some other topic tomorrow. Till then, take care and do stay tuned. Oh,